Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Spectator Behavior. My name's Jeff, and I'm just gonna give you a little tutorial about how the NFL Draft works and what you can do to get a little closer to the stage. So there are three tiers of the NFL Draft. The third tier is where most people are, which is behind a closed off area. Tampa Bay Buccaneers select Devin White. Then there's the second tier where you have to get selected using the Fan Mobile Pass app. Now the first tier is the inner circle where you're covered on stage with most of the media and hardcore fans in this area. Next, you need to be close to the NFL Draft stage or the NFL Draft experience area with your app open. Now, I'll tell you, I have selected at both these spots and it worked both times that I tried it. Next, you need to make sure that right at 12 in the afternoon, you click the virtual line section as soon as it hits 12. It'll then give you a question of how many people you want to bring with you. I believe the option is up to four people. I normally do four just in case I have a friend or meet another Bucks fan who's interested in getting into the second tier of the draft. Now, once you get selected, it will send you a text You have to go over to a specific area after you get that text and they scan the QR code on your app. Then they give you a wristband. Then you go through security through a back entrance away from the majority of where everyone is at. Now keep in mind that you have to do this very fast. That initial click at 12 is very important. You can't can't be you know fiddling around with your phone. You need to make sure right at 12 that you click you know that spot in the virtual line because milliseconds can be the difference between hundreds of spots in line, and it can be the determining factor if you get to the second tier or not. The inner circle is normally hardcore fans and season ticket holders, especially to start it off on Thursday night. Sometimes in the later draft rounds, you know, fans will leave and the team will look for other people wearing the team's gear to fill those spots. So if you were in the second tier, you have the, you know, availability to see, you know, the people calling out for people to come up there to the inner part of the inner circle and you might possibly get invited up. So being in that second tier is very important for you to get called up to the inner circle. So that's what I did the last two rounds. I spotted a Bucks fan who was looking for people to fill the spots and I went to the area he was at and he let me go up there. So it was an amazing experience. I hope, I hope this information helped and if you thought it was helpful, please hit the like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, please hit the uh, subscribe button. It's free. And I hope you found this information helpful and hope you have a good time with the draft.